Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to add a chart control to your ASP.NET C Sharp website application. So till now, we have made a database and link it with your ASP website. And I have also shown you how to make the master page and login page to your ASP website. Now, earlier I have shown you, I have created a registration.mdf database and I have one table inside this database which is user data and when I see the content of this data it has uh, some of uh, the users data but I haven't added some uh, column in this which from which I can make a chart control so I'm going to make a new table and using that table in the database I'm going to make a chart control so let's get started in the table or go to your database in the solution server explorer and go to your database and click table and right click your table and add new table from here and here I will add a new table called name id this is the first column of the table and the second column of the table is name itself and third column of the table is age for example this will be a second column and the third column is age okay and age has the data type integer so i will choose int from here let's say int and name can be of 50 characters and name id will also be an integer okay and once you have made these columns i will just save my data table and i will say this is my name data table and i will click okay so now I have two tables one is name data and one is user data okay and let's fill this uh, name data with some data so I will right click my table and I will say show table data and in here I will add some new data so for example one and the age is something and then name id 2 and age and name id 3 and name id 4 so four columns we are going to add Okay, so now we have added four uh, rows of data in the database and we will save our data by clicking the save button. And now let's try to make a chart out of this table data. So I will go to manager.aspx. You can make a new uh, page for uh, showing the data and I will say show designer or view designer and in here let me make it a little bit bigger from here okay and i will go to the toolbox and i will search for the chart control from here in the data you will find the chart control drag and drop into your page wherever you want to show this chart and just resize it okay so now my chart is resized 
Now what I am going to do is I need to link my database with this chart. So what I will do is I will select this chart and just click this small arrow at the right top end of this uh, chart and I will choose a new data source for it. So new data source is SQL data source registration which is my registration database and let's say I am going to say configure data source and this is my registration connection string which is ok I will say next and in here I need to choose my database so we have made a da new database called name data so I will select this name data table ok so you can choose either user data or name data but I'm choosing name data and it has name ID name and age so I will select this star from here and I will click next and now I will just test my query if it's working or not yes it's working because it's giving me the data and I will say finish okay and yes so now what I will do is here I can choose the type of chart which I want to show so I can choose column chart or line chart or whatever pie chart stock range anything so for, for, for our first application let's choose the column chart itself and x axis will be the name and y axis will be the age okay it's as simple as that and now when I right click my page and view in the browser I will say yes save my data and it's saying server is currently offline so let's make it run for example first it's offline right now okay so my other server was running that's why it was not uh, running this page so I stopped my previous server uh, now once again when I right click and view it in the browser I will be able to see this chart and I have this uh, names these names Mark Julie Paul and Jack and their ages with respect to the table so you can see here mark has age 23 so you it's here yeah, it uh, age 23 julia has 33 age you will be able to see it here and paul has age 45 and jack has age 38 now you can change the type of this database also for example i want to see now the pie chart so just select this pie chart and once again view in the browser yes and now you will be able to see the pie chart and one more thing if you want to see these this data in the 3d format you can do it also so go to your chart and go to the source of your uh, aspx page and wherever you have uh, your chart so search for the chart here this is my chart which is chart area name chart area 1 you will be able to find this line I will make it a little bit bigger so you have chart area so you have this tag chart area and inside this you have the chart control right and go here and just make a little space and I will say area 3d style dash enable 3d and is equal to true so when I make this as 3d true and when I run the program once again in the browser you will be able to see a 3d graph or 
3D chart. You see here, it's a kind of 3D and it will show better in, in the chart, in the line chart or in bar chart. So I will select this column chart and now when I run the program, it's showing me the chart in 3D, right? So that's also an option. You can choose many or design your chart uh, in other ways also. You just have to play with the code. So in this way, you can use this chart control with your ASPX or ASP.NET application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye.